Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for Libra. This is going to be your beginning to the middle of June spread. All the information that you need to book a personal reading is going to be down below. And all the special announcements will be said at the end. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. You guys can overcome any obstacle that is in your path. Okay, I see your plans are going to work out perfectly. I see amazing ideas that lead to rewards and accommodations. And I see the ideas that you're getting are divinely guided. And you're being asked to use logic, structure, and discipline to increase your success and to get organized. So you can take action towards your dreams using the power of creativity to create success that allows a life of luxury. You're also being asked to balance out your divine masculine and feminine energy. Because it's not enough to just be creative or just to have an idea. That divine masculine energy is going to help you to take action. To take that idea from the 5D and birth it into the 3D. And I see you going back and forth in your head because you feel like this is not the right time. But I see a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity. And I see great progress being made. And you're being asked to follow your heart. Because this is going to lead you to wish fulfillment. I see your dreams coming true. And I see you guys are uncertain. But there's no reason to be. Because I see the universe is working things out in your favor. Even if you can't see it right now. I just see you guys are worried. This is something that's not going to be worth the effort. But you're being asked to walk away from that type of thinking because I see you can do anything and it's time for you to take charge of your life. You can manifest whatever you need to be a success. It's time to stop focusing on which frightens or worries you and trust that you're being pulled into the right direction. I just see you guys are feeling like you're not good enough or you're inexperienced, but again, you're being asked to stop focusing on which frightens or worries you, okay? Because you can do anything, and again, you can manifest whatever you need to be a success. So the time to take action is now, okay? Move forward with determination. and stay grounded in this time. I'm definitely seeing working with flowers is not only going to help open up your heart chakra, but it's also going to help keep you grounded. And trust. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path because you're being pulled into the right direction. And I see you have a lot of family and friends supporting you in the 3D and in the spiritual realm as well. And you are protected, you are safe and supported while you change your career. So whatever idea that you guys have, like I said, this is divinely guided. Okay, so definitely take action towards this because this is going to lead you to success. Acceptance. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So yeah, I'm definitely seeing like you're being asked to stop focused on which frightens or worries you. Don't focus on what you don't want to happen. Focus on what you do want to happen. And have patience because like I said, the universe is working in your favor behind the scenes. And again, stop focusing on which frightens or worries you. Definitely some of you guys are scared to fail. And to let your inner child create and play because this is going to nourish the creative aspect of your mind. And again, I definitely see you're being asked to take action towards the creative ideas that you're getting in this time because they are divinely guided. Okay, and accept that you are being pulled into the right direction. And also to have acceptance for the things that you cannot change. Because I am seeing for some of you this could be like something that you are starting up. Especially if this is like a new business or something. It's like you're scared to start it and not have it grow the way that you want it to. But you're being asked to accept the things you cannot change. Because everything happens in divine order, in divine timing. Like I said, you may not see it now, but the universe is working in your favor. So do not be discouraged. Even if this doesn't grow as fast as you want it to, trust that it is growing. 
Like I said, trust in the divine plan because the universe is working behind the scenes in your favor, even if you can't see it now. And this is reminding me of a Buddha story that I posted on um, my Instagram page. Um, the story is called The Sower. Okay, and like basically it's saying in whatever you do, plant the seed of faith because you are the master of your own universe. Nourish it with good works and watch it grow. Again, just trust in the universe. If this is your dream, trust that the universe will work out a way for you. So that's why it's really important for you guys to have this patience and love for yourself and everything that you do. And don't get upset if it doesn't grow as fast as you want it to. I like to say a rose doesn't tell a tree to grow faster. So it's okay if it's not growing as fast as you want it to. Again, like you are a tree. Time is an illusion. That's something that man made. So again, trust that everything happens in divine order. Even if you can't see it now, that seed is growing. So have faith in it. I'm also seeing something about love in here. So yeah, I just see somebody wants plans to work out perfectly between you and them. They feel like you guys are a perfect match for each other. They feel like they're your emperor and they feel like you're their empress. And actually definitely go check out the Gemini reading because they also had something about the emperor and empress in their reading too. Okay, but yeah, definitely someone really wants things to work out perfectly. This person wants to give you their heart in the world, and this person is really wanting to take action towards you. But I see this person is waiting for perfect timing, and I see them kind of going back and forth with themselves if they should send you a message or not, because they want an equal partnership with you. They want to work on something solid that can benefit both of you, where you both can grow. This person feels like you could be their true twin flame. And this person is really wanting to listen to their heart and they're wanting to come towards you because you're their wish fulfillment. But they're scared this is not going to be worth the effort or they're scared that you might already be talking to somebody else or you might be dating somebody else. But this person is really wanting to take charge and manifest something with you. They want to manifest positive change in this situation. But I see this person keeps focusing on which frightens or worries them. Because they really want a relationship, a new emotional experience, a compassionate friend they can share their concerns with. This person really wants a relationship right now, like, really bad. Um, and they want it with you. This person's kind of feeling, like, really lonely in this time. And they're wanting to take, like, immediate action towards you. And I see this person could be thinking about surprising you with flowers. I'm also seeing would benefit them to ground themselves in this time. I'm also seeing this person could be going to tarot readers or like crystal ball readers because they want to know if they're being pulled into the right direction. They want to know if one day you guys can like have like a family together I'm seeing, okay? But whatever the outcome, this person is protected. They're just being asked to trust that they're being pulled into the right direction because soul growth is going to come from this either way. For others of you, I'm definitely seeing this is somebody that you are being pulled to be together with, that you are going to have a family with this person I'm seeing one day. And for the person who's going to a bunch of tarot readers or going to a crystal ball reader, it's like you're just being asked to have acceptance, learn to accept the things you cannot change, let your inner child create, play, and love. Understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. I definitely see for some of you guys, you're scared to open up your heart to somebody because it might not be permanent, but like you have to look at things from a different way because sometimes the universe will put people in our lives because we are supposed to learn something from them or we are supposed to help teach them something. So I am seeing like you guys are being asked to like heal your heart chakra. Um, do this by like working with flowers. Also like stay grounded, wear a lot of green. And like, again, try not to worry so much. And there's something just really important, again, about you opening up that heart chakra and learning to accept the things that you cannot change. Because yeah, for some of you, you might not be with this person forever, but that's okay. You could be with them for, let's say, like five years. And let's say those five years was the most magical time of your life. And it taught you so much. Okay, and even though you're sad it's over, like, you learned so much from that person and, like, you got brought to other amazing experiences and opportunities. So you have to change the way that you're thinking about this situation and keep your heart open. 
okay? And have patience. Accept that everything happens in divine order and love. Commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things, including yourself. I just see like for whoever this is, it's like the first place your mind goes is somewhere negative. So it's definitely time to like change the way you're looking at the situation and it's time to open up that heart chakra. Because I'm seeing it's like your inner child wants love and you deserve love, but it's like you're not letting yourself be loved. So for this other group of you, like I said, I definitely see this person's wanting to take action towards you. They want to give you their heart in the world, but I definitely see they could be waiting for a perfect timing. They feel like right now is not the right time. And I see them kind of going back and forth with themselves. Okay, but they're being asked to have patience, except that everything happens in divine timing, in divine order, and love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. For some of you, I definitely see because this is not moving fast enough for this person, they could be focusing on like worst case scenarios here, on what they don't want to happen. Like I said over here, like they feel like maybe you're already talking to somebody else or dating someone else. But again, they're being asked to trust that everything happens in divine timing, in divine order, okay? And commit to the practice of seeing good in all things. Because I'm definitely seeing for some of you, like I said, like you are going to be with this person, but maybe just not right now is what I'm seeing, okay? And for whoever this is, I definitely see like they're kind of getting impatient here and they're just thinking like, oh, this is never going to happen. Um, that's kind of like basically what I'm picking up here. Okay, so that's what I got for you guys. Make sure to go check out my spiritual store on Etsy. Link is going to be down below. And also go check that out because me and my mom made some really cool space face masks. So if you guys like space, planets, and constellations, definitely go check that out. They come in a pack of two and the link is going to be down below. And I also changed around my menu for personal readings, so all the information that you need to order one is also going to be down below. And go listen to my music on all major platforms and SoundCloud, and also go check out my Instagram, at CosmicTides underscore, I pull daily tarot cards, I share channeled messages, all that good stuff. And if you guys are interested to see what decks I use for this reading, they're also going to be listed down below. And I'm sending so much love, light, support, protection, and safety to all those who are speaking out against injustices and fighting for justice. You are fully supported by the universe. Keep speaking your truth. The time is now for change. For all my spellcasters out there, make sure you guys are casting your protection spells. Stay safe and keep shining your light on the world. I'll see you next week. Bye!